This day is set aside every year since 2010 to honor an African American who has served this community well. We're doing things a little differently today than we have in the past. In the past, these awards have gone to adults. This year, we are presenting our award to a young person. I think that's especially important. Uh, I don't s st sing like Stevie Wonder, but uh, the children are our future, as they say. The library changes. It's changed over the years. It's not just stacks of dusty books. Uh, we do have books. Hopefully they're not dusty. We have CDs. We have DVDs. We have online services. We have so many things. But we also offer programs. We offer educational opportunities. And we provide a forum for people to uh, exchange ideas. Those are all important aspects of why we exist as a library. So I think it's especially important that the library be the place where we award and we honor people who have, have, who have um, contributed in a significant way to our society here, our citizens in Tangipoe Parish. And uh, I am not going to continue on. I'm going to turn it over now to our assistant director, Bianca Roberts. Bianca Roberts and Misty and Laura, I owe them a great debt putting this program together and want to thank them as well. So. Merriam-Webster Dictionary defines service as contribution to the welfare of others. Five years ago, Tangipaho Parish Library was looking for a way to acknowledge members of the African American community that served as examples for all of us. During the month of February, our nation takes time to celebrate and acknowledge the contributions of Afri African Americans have made towards our country. Our country was built by people who came here from other lands. This blending of cultures makes the United States unique. At various points throughout the year, we take time to recognize and honor those cultures and traditions. For the past four years, we've focused on the adults in our community that took time and energy away from their family and friends and served our community. For the first time this year, we're looking to the future by celebrating the accomplishments and service of our youth. We asked educators to nominate young men and women that were shining stars. We received nine nominations from five different schools. A committee comprised of Councilman Lamar Marshall, Dr. Bobby Martin, and Ann Smith selected Cameron McKnight as our 2016 Honorary Service Award recipient. It is my pleasure to introduce Councilman for Hammond District 4 and the 2015 recipient of the Honorary Service Award, Mr. Lamar Marshall. Uh, first, I want to give uh, recognize the Tangible Parish Library System for all the work that they do in our community from Hammond to Kentwood to make sure that all of our kids have access to uh, education and books and literature and, <clears throat> and just a lot of wealth um, knowledge is so, so important because I could tell you as a 53-year-old man, uh, I'm still learning sometimes for the first time some of the things that uh, were missed what, that we were able, weren't able to get in the, uh, in the school system. And now having access to the library, having access to the internet uh, makes all the difference in the world. <clears throat> one of my goals as a city councilman, and that even though I'm on the southern part of Paris, one of my goals is to continue to see us focus on how do we improve the quality of life on the northern part of the parish. And particularly, you know, um, some of the areas uh, that are absent from having access to internet services and, and those type of things, Councilman Lewis, Joseph, you know, we talked about that on several times. Parish President Bobby Miller, I know, Robbie Miller, I know you feel the same way about that as well. But we have to continue to really focus on how do we have, provide access to education, access to literature, access to the whole wealth of knowledge that's available in the library and throughout our our public school system to all families and all kids that live through our tangible parish. So that, I, I really think that's very important. So today, coming to recognize you uh, for your accomplishments, I just want to give you two words of advice. One thing is great to be recognized, <clears throat> and because someone has taken the time out, your teachers, your administrators, and many members of the community has taken time to recognize you for your effort and what you're doing in the community. But once you're recognized, now it's established that you are a leader. And so now you have to live up to those expectations. <clears throat> you're not, you're, this year, while you're in your junior year in school, also as a senior, and as you go off to college and wherever you decide to c continue your education. Uh, I'm just proud of you and good luck to you. 
Uh, we can be of any help to you in leadership, uh, uh, having conversations about how do you really navigate through and how do you become a, a good uh, local servant um, in the community. I'm sure you have many mentors that you can work with, but I'm also available to that. You know, I'm a Hammond guy, I know you know your name meets, so I know there's no competition between the two, but we all have purple in some way in our lives, right? So, so how that, is that pretty good? It came out good? So, but we all have purple, so that's a part of where we are connected, through the purple. Maybe not the white and the, uh, and the gold, but the purple for sure, we're in the same team. So come on up and get your award. Come on up and get your award. So here's an award we're going to present this to you today on uh, 2016, uh, February the 20. 27th. 27th is today, huh? Uh, leading by example, Cameron McKnight, 2016 Honorary Service Award presented by the Tangible Parish Library. Congratulations. 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 We want you to say a few words, okay? I would like to say that accepting this award is an absolute honor. I am thankful to my teacher, Ms. Harrison, for noticing the great qualities in me and even nominating me for this award. And to everyone, and for for to the council for accepting me as the awards recipient. Thank you. <laughs> and also allowing, I'm thanking the library for allowing me to accept this uh, this award at such an amazing learning establishment. Education is very important to me. <laughs> it has allowed me to bear myself in ways that I can only imagine. There are multiple influences on my educational experiences. My parents taught me to stay on the right track and never to give up. My school teachers and administrations taught me to prepare for the future and the library allowed me to access information and many resources so I could better assist my learning the process. So I stand before you today and as an example of what hard work and dedication looks like. It isn't always easy doing the right thing, but as a young man, I take pride and responsibility in all that, all that I do. My education will be the key to my success. So I challenge you and let, I challenge you to try new things and that will expand your vocabulary and your minds. Stop by your local libraries and read to your children and invest your time in what matters the most. What is education? Which is education? And last but not least, I ask you to stay focused. When in doubt, don't panic. And last but not least, always trust God. Thank you. We also want you to know, Cameron, you will be here with us at the library forever. Your name has been added to our perpetual plaque, which hangs here in a meet. So you're next in line, so congratulations. <laughs> I'd like to thank the educators at LaRondra High School, Martha Vineyard Elementary, Champ Cooper Junior High School, Louisiana Connections Academy, and Ponchatoula High for taking the time to nominate their extraordinary students. We hope they will continue to help us recognize the great youth living in our community by submitting nominations again next year. The deadline to submit nominations for the Young Women of Excellence Award, which will be presented Saturday, May 20, March 26 at 10 a.m. here at the Amy Branch, is Monday, February 29th. So you have the weekend to pull it together. <laughs> Please join me once again in congratulating Cameron McKnight. We wish you continued success, and we are expecting great things from you.